just a, a little slower pace uh, but it's just a... I am meeting David my name is David register I'm one of the floral greens farmers of Florida growers normally while I'm sleeping in bed at five in the morning warm and cozy David is already out on his farm freeze protecting his ferns how would you describe freeze protecting what exactly is that process? um long periods of boredom followed by sheer terror. Normally we have amazing weather in Florida. Right now it is 40 degrees though, which for me is freaking freezing. I'm cold and I know those ferns are cold, so I'm excited to see what David does to keep them warm and alive or for us. So can we just kind of walk you through everything a yeah, little bit? Yeah, let's start with like, what time did you wake up this morning? <laughs> um, you mean yesterday? I didn't go to... <laughs> you didn't go to bed at all? No. Well, I laid down on and off. Oh my god. So it started um, freezing at, let's see when I got the first alert, 9.02 p.m. It was 34.1 in the front room for the first time, so <laughs> I left my house then oh my and gosh. came down here. And then I kind of hang out here, and I don't know if you can see this thing right here. We have these, you have call it temp alert, and then I can uh, divide. These are all the ferneries that are down here where we're at. And we also have these thermometers like this, like you see in the truck, so they measure the temperature while you're driving around, whatever it is. Well, oh, cause really? what, Yeah, because what people don't realize is just you know a hundred yards or less apart there can be a 10 degree difference in temperature depending on whether it's under trees it stays a lot warmer under trees because it holds the heat in from the earth oh. or underneath these black shade houses that have the black shade cloth they get 10 degrees colder than the outside air a lot of time because just like black absorbs heat during the day it gives off heat to the night sky faster than the other areas so it gets colder underneath them than it does outside of them so you basically we ride around till it gets right close to 32 degrees and um, then we start cranking the diesel pumps to get the water going to make sure that uh, the fern doesn't freeze. Okay. So Gee. that's pretty much the essence of it. Right now um, I started turning on the pumps about midnight last night. I think it was two o'clock in the morning when I turned the last one on up down here and then uh, now we have to leave them running till the temperature outside air temperature the wet bulb temperature comes up above about 33 34 degrees have you lost a lot of ferns before we have in the past i mean um sometimes sprinklers fail and the frost sets in anyway just got those fixed and now they have another thing to worry about the frost greg the low temps could cost the growers tens of thousands of dollars okay well you can just ride through one time this is kind of what i do every couple of hours we start making a, a lapse through the different ferneries and just make sure that the water's still running. Those are the ones you don't want to step in right there. <laughs> They're following us. One number nine, uh, medium with a coffee. 
All right, Dave and I just wrapped up. He just turned off the last pump. I'm following him out of the fernery. And our day is officially done with freeze protection. David's gonna go take a nap and then get back out there to do other work in preparation of Valentine's Day. But it has been a journey. We are cold, the sun has come up, so at least it's warming up a bit now. Um, but that was quite the adventure. I hope you, I hope you learned something today. <laughs>